somewhere, but I'm not I'm not seeing it anywhere, but we got the here, check that out. I'm sure it's a 35, 12.5 on here. So I do like this one a lot. I do like the red, looks really good. Very aggressive tires got on there. One more kind of lift, it's running. Hmm, doesn't really say, does it? Still really cool truck nonetheless. And then we got this Ford over here. Check this one out. We're rocking 35, 12, all trucks honestly run 35, 12, 5 with 20 inch rim. It looks like I'm in Colorado or something. Crazy. There's actually a road up there. But anyways, this looks really nice too. And look at that stance. Because of the no flares, you got a little bit of stance back there. Maybe a little bit, just a little bit. But looks really cool. Looks like you're missing something here in the front. Very aggressive front end as well. Looks like the suspension components were painted. Oh man, that... Oh, it's starting to rust. It's an EcoBoost F-150. See the interior in these. Not too shabby, man. Nice leather. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. GMC Sierras. We got Ram 1500s, Fords. These are all basically stock. Look at that. That's a nice 2500. I love the color match bumper. Look at that. Haven't seen one of these in person. I love that over chrome, man. That looks really good. Now, if this had the diesel in it, oh yeah. See what it looks like. Cob lights and all up there. It looks like they get moisture stuck in them. And there's moisture stuck in there as well. Pretty nice leather interior in there. Got the middle seat that folds up. That's what I love. It's a Laramie Edition interior. That looks really nice. Honestly, that looks really good. A lot of space back there if you can see anything. Spray and bed liner. So yeah, that honestly looks really good. Look at that. Nice color match. And we got all these trucks. We got a lowered one right here. Oh, wait, no, it's an SS. Look at that. Color match bumper as well. Big block bumper. Look at that bumper. So different. Color match door handles. Looks all right. Oh, we got the moonroof on the top of this truck. Pretty cool. So this is what you'd want to buy if you want to get one of those trucks to race right here. Get one of those SS's. So when we got this GMC, got this high country here. Honestly, is this lowered or something too? They all look lowered. So that's for the lowered truck guys, but then we got this. Oh my gosh, look at that exhaust tip. So I'm sure that this is modified to the brim. Look at that exhaust. Oh my gosh, is it straight piped all the way? Oh, I think that's straight piped all the way. A Denali HD straight pipe. Nice interior in there. So this is definitely a Duramax 6.6, yep. It's a nice truck. Straight piped Duramax tune. Let's see if they got a nice monitor in there or something. Yep, we got a little monitor right there, very tiny one, but still something. Nice tow mirrors, turn signals. So we got a straight pipe tune Duramax. And then we got this Cummins right here. Look at that. Holy cow. Look at these tires, man. 35, 37, 13.5 R20s. 37s with a zone lift kit. So it's at least a 13 because of the badging. Look at that, man. Nice interior than these trucks. Oh, I love it. It's got the DEF tank. They want 40000 for this. I don't like the chrome handlebars. As you can see, it easily shows scratches if you can see that. Now you got to the DEF tank. Look at that, man. Oh my gosh, look at that stance. Beautiful. So yeah, this height, I mean, it's, it's basically at my head right now. Gotta love it, man. 37 is probably a 6 inch lift or something. Look at that. Oh, this spare, they need a new spare. It's, this spare wouldn't even do you any good. It's solid axle and everything. Look at that, man. So I wonder what year this is, but everything looks coated again. Let's see. So this is a 2014. Let's see what it looks like under here. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad if that's actually the factory coating, but I'm not too certain that it is. If that is factory coating, it actually does look pretty nice. So this one is running the factory exhaust, so I'm sure that everything's stock. Frame is actually looking really good. Everything up here looks good. 
Yeah. I've seen them a lot worse. It has 70,000 miles, such as the one that I looked at at Dillsburg with Mike, and this one actually looks a lot better underneath. And then we got this Hemi right here. It's got big tires on it. Pretty cool trucks, man. Nice Cummins right here, 6.7. It's a Glisa 13 as well. Man, they got nice interiors in these trucks. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh. Yep, this one's corroding a bit more. I'm sure it was driven a lot more than the one that's lifted. 37s doesn't get you that good of mileage or performance, but it still looks amazing. So here we go, we got a nice D-badged silver, I don't know what's going on here. New weather strip. That's my interior right there. That's weird. Those are very aggressive on stock wheels, the wheels that I had. Look at those headlights. Damn. Then we got this Denali again. Another Denali. Nice interior. What are they running on these? 3512 5R20. With fender flares. Hate to match. Nice. Check that out. I know this is a uh, this is the gas, this is a gas hemi. And doesn't have a spare tire, but it does have the holder. Very nice truck though indeed. Loving the black handle bars. That's the way I do it. Gotta love these trucks. 37s, 35s. So how about this? Is this for sale back here? Got a nice F250. This is the same body style as Mike's truck. Got a long box back here. Very, very used for work. Look at that interior, man. It's actually pretty nice. It's different, different steering wheel than Mike's, different bench seat. Then we got this back here. That's how the seats were. Look at those NOS floor mats down there. That's cool. But yeah, this is actually really cool. I, I do love how it has an extended cab. I've always wanted a truck like that so you can put stuff back there. F-250 Custom. With a plow. Let's see. Solid axle. Very nice. So I think out of all the trucks here, I'd say the, the lifted Cummins down here is nice. The 2014. Very nice condition. Frame and all. Obviously it's not deleted like this GMC Sierra over here, Duramax. But we can always take care of that. It's got the lifting tires on it already. Look how big that tire is. Oh my gosh. That's such a nice truck, bro. Look at that. So one of the reasons I came out here is because I saw a listing for a lifted 2017 Power Stroke and I wanted to see that because that's actually really cool. But I guess they don't have it here. Maybe it already sold. It was really cool for a really good price, actually. It was a really good price. Let me know what you guys think is your favorite truck. I'm leaning more towards a Ford or Ram just because of the solid axle. It's hard. If I could find one with a white matched front end, then that would be really cool. But obviously, it's kind of hard to find that. And they usually sell them always with chrome. And I'm just looking for a simple interior, less things to break. So for a little update on the Silverado, I'm hoping that the grill and all the parts are going to be done tomorrow because it's been forever, to be honest. Well, I understand that the job is very tedious, what they're doing and everything. They're going to have to sand down a grill. And that's that's that doesn't sound easy and I, I will not have to want to do it myself But I'm telling you guys once we get those parts back We're gonna be able to finally drop off that Silverado and then get it fixed up They are actually gonna do all the repairs put all the parts back onto the truck And it's just gonna look so amazing and I'm I'm glad it's finally happening after what two months now What's more American than a Walmart with a McDonald's in it? So I'm here at the Turkey Hill in the middle of Harrisburg. I usually don't travel this part of town, but got to fill the tank. I actually noticed that the gas light was on before I even left, so I figured there's no time to waste. I have to do this now. Oh my gosh. What do we got going on over here? Look at that. Look at that lineup. Holy cow. So I must say it's 